make it to heaven I just want to make it in oh. There's nowhere trouble can show up that God is not already present. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The spiritual blessings in Jesus Christ. As I was looking at this thing, Paul is writing to a church and he's trying to remind them that there are spiritual blessings. Say spiritual. Spiritual. You know why we have to say spiritual? Because sometimes we just look for what? The physical blessing. And if I can't see the tangible blessing, I think God is not. That's what, I, that's, what, that's what he reminded me of Deke, when that plane shook. He said, you can't even see what's making it shake. It's me. I'm just trying to let you know wherever you are, I can shake. Huh? You can't see. You can't see when you're driving. You can see the pothole and sometimes avoid it or you can at least get prepared for it. But, but when you're in the air, then you don't even see it. But God is there. So he was letting me know, this was a spiritual side. Sometimes you will not see your spiritual growth and development, and you won't even know how far you've gone. You're not going to like this part. You find out how you grow spiritually when spiritual tests come up. None of us like that part of it. When I was taking my test over in Lynchburg, I, I got angry. Because I, I got my information, they said, well, you, you're going to take one, you got to do one on the Old Testament and one book of the New Testament. So I get there and I see the professor I haven't seen in so long and he's looking at me funny. Of course I remember him because I only have one professor. He has many students, so he don't know me. And then finally, I, he said, oh yeah, I got, I was communicating with you. He says, uh, we, we made a decision. I'm, I'm getting ready to smile. I think I'm going to get blessed. I'm going to get back to the... To the base quick to be with my son, he said, uh, uh, because you haven't been here and you've delayed this process, he said, we're not going to give you one book. You got to take five books. And, and, and you know, you, my, my teeth went to you know, I, 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 I hadn't really got over Wednesday because Tony, Tony will show up. Wednesday over at Armand, Tony showed up at Armand. No matter how much I tried to put Tony away, Tony kept coming up. God was saying, you just covered up. You still up under there. You, 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 you're not all of that. You still under here. If I take my hands off you, you'll be a real fool. Amen. He was letting me know. And I kept trying to shut up. And I had a bad case, Deacon. Couldn't help myself. Because this guy was over here like sandpaper on my bad wrist, grinding on me. But, but watch God. Not only did God fix it, he wound up resigning. Yeah, he wound up resigning. Because the stuff he was doing, it was just wrong. And, and that's what I told Super. I said, I don't want to be bothered with it. We're going to play games with people. I don't want to be bothered with them. I still have to deal with this community. And, and, and you know, it's easy for us. We get a little authority, want to push our little films. But we're not going to do this to people. Spiritually, I had I went to a bad place Wednesday, but then God has a renewing power. Yeah. Yeah. Has anybody yeah. ever went down and then God brought you yeah. Yeah. See, 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 you, don't, ever, don't, don't, don't get so upset if you go down. Yeah. Just, just do like Peter did and say, save me and God will show you. Because I, I'm not glad that he, he left the Armag, but I, I realize that this body is really going to be responsible to this community, then we got to put away some of the issues that we have of this divisive behavior. Because it would have been easy for me, because Marina has been an adversary of mine, to go against her, but it wasn't her. It was the principle of helping young people. Right. Like, right. We help it. This is not about me and Marina. This is about some young people. Right. Right. You know what that showed me? That's how God is with us. Uh, at times, it's not about you he's blessing. He's blessing the work he's doing. Right. Right. That's what I just say. It's times that I get stuff that I shouldn't get. It's not because God is giving it to me. He's helping the work that I'm doing. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. If we put the work in front of us like Paul is doing in this lesson, it, it, then there's so much we'll be able to get done. This lesson that we're getting ready to go through, and I want to give you the overview because we're going into the new and the general introduction into it is the first portion that we're going to do is going to be five lessons from the book of Ephesians and it's going to talk about a victory in Jesus. Yeah. As you go through this, it's talking about a vic say, say victory, victory in Jesus. In Jesus. See, see, that's the only place we win. Yeah. 
if, if, if the Christian is looking for a win anywhere outside of Jesus, we've lost already. And then that's when we get the defeated attitude, and then we don't want to do anything. Because the only place we win, mother, it's not in our families. It's only in Jesus. It's not in our friends. It's only in Jesus. It's not even in all of our fights. It's only in Jesus. And you know how you win in Jesus? You got to surrender to win. We don't like that part about it. We have been a, a people who have been abused and battered, and, and, and we want to we want to win on this side. But it may not happen. We we, we have to wait. Our victory is going to be in Jesus. In the five lesson study from the Book of Ephesians, the emphasis of these lessons is on the exaltation of Christ. That's the reason I'm hoping that the choir comes. Somebody say, "Amen." amen. Uh, choir, that's your job. Amen. Hello, choir members. Amen. You, you don't have what I have, so you can't find it in your book. So you, you can't look and see what I'm reading from. That's the reason I like to do the first lesson of the new program we move into, because I want to give you a different perspective. So that as you come in, you're able to hold on to it. The teachers do a good job of taking that lesson that they have and, and working it into you for the day. I want you to get a global look of what the, the authors are trying to give you to get out of this three month period so that you, you you know every once in a while thank you Lord when, when, when I watched my son's graduation they said measure him to the person he was before he came Amen. Amen. man did you hear what that you hear? When, when, when the man stood there and said that all I saw was God he was saying measure your child who is not he said your child is not a soldier He's a Marine, but you know, they have this elitist behavior anyway. He said, but measure him to who he was before he came. He said, if he has not changed, our job was it. Wow! Did you hear that? What, what God is saying to us, if you have not been measurably changed, the job has not been done. If folk cannot look and say, Sonny, 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 the job hasn't been done. Artist faith. It, it, oh, that's my. If they still call you, that's my. You know, in the words they put around there. No problem. If if people who have not seen you for many years recognize you by your behavior, something wrong. They should look at you and say something changed. I looked at my son. They had him twelve weeks. He he don't look the same. He stands a little straight. <laughs> he stands a little straight. His conversation is different. He was a, a, a he was a, a respectful young man, but it's a different level now. Watch this. We were sitting in a racist state where I had on my Barack Obama shirt, and the lady told me, she said, you probably don't want to wear that to black lady. She said, because they're not big supporters of his here. But, but but you know what? I believe it. I believe it. But everywhere we went, and he was standing there. I mean, when he's standing in line now, he's like this. Because he cause something checked. He's he, he not, he not like this anymore. That's it. And, huh? and, and that, that's the other thing he said. He said, these young men have found out where their hips are. <laughs> He said, they have found out where their hips are. And the thing about it, what he was saying, it, 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 just, it, 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 it transfers to the church that somebody should have found their hips at church. Amen. You know I have an acronym for it. I'm going to give you that in Bible study. But I got an acronym for hips, too. Because I was sitting there. He was giving me sermons. I'm snatching sermons from my, right out of his mouth. But, but 584 young men. And, and, and what a beautiful sight it was. And I, you know, I could spot my boy right away. He stayed in the midst of them all. And I could see him standing there. But, but what, what, what I want us to be able to say is, can the Father spot you? Can, can, can our Father spot us like that? I know you can spot Andre a mile. It, it could be 10 million. And you'll look and say, I see Andre. I don't care how bad my eyesight go. I'm going to find my three sons. Amen, somebody? You should be able, 
Our daddy should be able to spot us. Okay, where you at? This thing about spiritual growth and development is necessary and our victory is in Christ. Our victory is not if I can talk about this one to this one and pull him away from that one. Our victory is when we all come together. The song we used to sing, when we all, when we all, get to that. Oh, when we all. See, see they, they was letting you know right there that you know, it, God not impressed by you coming by yourself. It wouldn't have been impressive for my son to be standing there all by himself, the only one graduating. They have a, they have a philosophy. No man left. No man left behind. He told me about when they were going through the cruciate. And how dare they call it the crucible? You know I, I was ready to go there. Because the crucible was Christ on the cross. That is the crucible. But they call it the crucible. That's the night when they had to get out. He said, and everybody got to make it there. He said, and because I was one of the top three soldiers, he said, the top soldier has to get in the room. You're going to miss them. The top soldier don't get in the front. The top soldier get in the rear. The second get in the middle, and the third get in the he up front. And he got all of the weakest go first. What about if the church would get like that? And we took on the crucibles of the Christ, and we put the weak ones up front. And the strong ones got in the back, and said, so I'm going to make sure don't nobody buy But you know, I strong, I was up front. If the world can get it, how come the church can't get it? How come we can't get to the position of taking care of one another? Because we have the victory in Jesus. The lesson is trying to get us to the point of understanding in the first five lessons that there's a victory in Jesus, that we win through our suffering. That we win. Do you know to win this race deep is the one who suffers the most? Some of us don't we? Uh, 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 where, where did you see that in the book? I think I'm gonna check out. Uh, uh, I didn't sign up for no suffering. Hmm. What? To be a saint, you gotta suffer. Jesus, yeah. he kept saying it. Right. You, if you want to see where it's at, it's in the book plenty of times. But in every gospel, he says, "If you're gonna be my disciple, yeah. you must what deny yourself." That's suffering. Yeah. That's suffering. These, these young people couldn't have no candy, couldn't have no soda. They had to eat with, 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 with a tap. On the hundred tap, you better be on your feet. So they, they, they taught them something, how to, how to do what? Multitask, eat and count. Because you couldn't eat and jump up the first one because you ate at 20. You had to get up at 100. And they had to all get up together. In Acts in the third chapter, Peter and John went up together. In the third chapter of Acts, first verse, Peter and John went up together. Yeah. What, what, what it suggests to me, if we're going to go up, it'll be. It suggests to me, if we're going to go up, it'll be. But that also means that we're going to fall down, we'll fall down. No, no, because you can only go up together. Because going up means going to Christ. There is no going down. When we go down, it's because one has went down. And if we not, because you, 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 you don't know what wickedness say, if I fall, I'm going to trip for us. I'm a, that, that's wicked right there. Weakness, I may fall. I may stumble because I'm born of flesh and I have my weakness. But wickedness is when you on the ground, trap. if I'm down, I'm going to get them all down here. Ain't nobody going if I can. Yeah. Amen? Amen. We, we, God, God, God has always made allowances for man's weakness and wickedness. You say, I don't believe it. He said the wicked were created for what? For the dead. Oh, I just want to cross that river. I want to be free from sin. <laughs>